G'day. In today's video, I've got an older Acer Predator and its model number is N15P4, or also known as G9-793-78RV. And this particular one, I believe, has got a failed NVMe drive. So we'll be opening it up to replace it with a newer Team Group MP33 budget NVMe drive. Now the, the current drive that's in here, I believe, is a M.2 SATA drive. And also, I am just using a small standard Phillips head screwdriver to undo these screws here, which don't seem to come out completely. There we go. That looks to have got us in. And before I begin, so yeah, replacing it with a budget NVMe drive. This drive here, I do believe, is a M SATA. It's an SK Hynix M.2 SATA NV oh, SSD. We do have two spots here. I'll just zoom this in and I'll explain a bit further. So we do have one hard drive here, which is a one terabyte SATA hard drive manufactured in 2017. It does look like well, its connection goes to here. And while, while we're here, I'm also noticing a few other things. We have one NVMe slot here. We have two NVMe slot. So what I'm going to do is replace this one, but it looks like you could double stack two NVMe SSDs into here. And also we have two RAM DIMMs over here. So you could potentially add more RAM. I'm assuming there's two sticks already getting utilized deeper in the machine. And this is an easier to access location for them. So if I take that out, put that aside. Huh. Another thing I've just noticed here too. For example, the pin configuration is slightly different. So this one may be a SATA one down here, and this may be a NVMe one. Gone by the pin configuration that does look different there. Or well, it may just be the angle that I'm on, but I don't believe this one's going to fit in this bottom one. But we'll try it anyway. So I'll line that up to here. I don't know, my mistake. And also if we go to this other one over here, uh, we do not fit in the top one. So I'm not sure what particular one we are up there. So I'm going to put that in there to here. And screw that down. And now I'll just try the M Sata one up here, face down. No. Nope. There we go. So I'm assuming we're an M Sata up here and an NVMe. Slightly odd, but as I said, I'm removing the SK Hynix to install this one. As you would have noticed just then, I did have to match up the teeth. So if I lift that out, get a line up down here, with down here, and put it in about a 35, 45 degree angle. It sits up like that, and lock it down by pushing it down and screwing it back in. Next up, all we really need to do is put the cover back on, and then the real fun begins. After we've replaced the NVMe drive, or with an NVMe, this one with an i7-7700, I will be reinstalling Windows 10 on here, as it doesn't natively support Windows 11. Uh, you, you can, can want, kind of work around it, but I don't think that's going to be worth the hassle. So I'm going to screw this back in, and reinstall Windows 10 from here. Could potentially clone your old hard drive, but I'll just go off a fresh reinstall, especially on an older machine like this. Hopefully from here, we're all good. I hope that helps with replacing the SSD in your Acer Predator 17. Bye.